Hello customers and welcome to today's guided walkthrough of our 2019 Ford Ranger. My name's Jesse, I'm a Perth marriage celebrant and spokesperson for Melville Hyundai. We hope you enjoy the tour. Let's begin with a front on view while I list off the car's key features. Packed inside we have eight airbags, cruise control, tow bar, equipped and ready to go, power steering, power windows, cargo tie down hooks. Uh, fingers crossed we can cover all the remaining features, definitely not all of them, but hopefully most of them uh, inside this video we hope you enjoy. Now first up I want to talk about presentation and give a great big thumbs up to the detailing team a part of the yard, they do a wonderful job. If you notice any imperfections about the car, there might be one or two things that still need to be brought up to speed, so just be mindful of that and that'll get done before you test drive and absolutely before you purchase the vehicle. Now time for us to get into some features and I first want to bring your attention to the camera system in the center of your windshield here, okay? This comprises three, if not four, uh, safety features, but we'll cover the three that we know. First up, collision mitigation. It's always on the lookout for the chance that you might collide with an obstacle. If it senses that that may occur, it'll raise an alarm for you to be able to switch on, apply the brake and avoid any potential impact. Secondly, lane departure assistant. It reads the white lines on the road that create the lane within which you drive. If it senses that you might be heading outside the lane, the technology will tug you back into the center. It's pretty cool. Lastly, it makes up a part of your cruise control settings, right? Adaptive cruise control maintains the distance between the front of your vehicle and the back of someone else's. If they slow down, you slow down. If they speed up, you get the idea, okay? Uh, cool, that'll do us for that camera, guys. Next up, rain sensing windscreen wipers. Notice the hood scoops about the place. Uh, lovely paint job. The rest is all self-explanatory. You can see your three spotlights. You can see your massive bull bar finance options, we offer same day finance approval here at the yard, which means we'll get through the process between you and the banks very efficiently and conveniently. I think the last thing I want to say, uh, two final things for the front, four parking sensors along the front here and your headlights, oh man, they have the automatic feature, they have the electric level adjustment, you can change the angle in which they're pointing to uh, in front and they have the uh, high beam auto dip. It just knows when oncoming traffic is and will automatically dip down your headlights so you don't have to panic and uh, do that yourself. Okay, down the right hand side we go, showing off these 18 inch alloy rims. The black on black on black looks absolutely fantastic. Point this out, we've got another parking sensor to the top left hand corner here. That's the best place for these parking sensors to be. Okay, a little bit of a mud guard as well. Notice your side step up. The paint has come away along the bottom there, guys. Just point that out. Like I said, we'll be sure to point out any imperfections along the way. Some things still need to be brought up to speed. Okay, your side mirrors. Plastic guard along the bottom. Indicator light. Cool color contrast with the paint job. They have the heated feature. They're not going to fog up in a cold environment and they're going to fold in as well, electronically adjustable. Okay, to your handlebars. It has the keyless entry feature. Door handles, not handlebars. As long as the fob is within range, press your thumb over this sensor to lock and unlock your car. It's super convenient. If you haven't used it before, you're going to love it. Pretty mild, maybe a very mild tint along the front here and the back, maybe a touch darker here along the back. Security, less sunlight. Notice your roof racks. I think that'll pretty much do us. Here we are at the back. We've got a push open fuel cap. The car takes diesel fuel type. Let's suss out our back left hand wheel. Guys, the, the car also has a tyre pressure sensor, so it can alert you when one of the four wheels is uh, lacking in pressure, okay? Here we are at the back, a little bit of a bump the car has copped in this left-hand side. Chrome badges, decals about the place, plastic guard step along here with four reverse parking sensors, your reverse parking camera just beneath your Ford badge. Like I said, tow balls ready to go. Lastly, warranty will save you so many headaches if of course you encounter them like I have with my own car. Get the warranty, give yourself that peace of mind, okay? Time now to jump into the, the rear here. Now this is locked in place, guys. Um, the key is just somewhere else at the moment. So, but you know how this door works anyway. It's, it's like a roller door for your garage. You're just going to push it back into its little holster at the back. Uh, the flooring is this heavy duty, you know, plastic tub liner. And that's it. You get the idea. Okay, let's continue down the right hand side. We'll start off by sussing our back right hand wheel. Leaf suspension here at the back, guys. 
into the car we go. Partial leather, full, full leather interior. A little bit of, um, you know, a fancy feature here. Okay, nice big sound system speaker as well. Inside is a complete leather interior, armrest, drink holders. Notice the stitching as well, guys. It's so, you know, you, you're going to get a, a little bit of fashion with your car as well. Carpet interior, door pocket, uh, sorry, storage pockets on the back of the driver and passenger seat. And in the sensor here is a 220 volt power supply next to a 12 volt power supply. Grab handles up in the corners there. Let's jump into the front. Power windows, window locks, pockets, you get the idea. Down here we have electronic seats. Notice that it's no more handles or pulleys, right? It's all electronic now. To the right hand side, we have your light controls. This engages the electric level adjustment of your headlights. Pretty fancy stuff there. Okay, this probably to engage your spotlights along the front there. What's this, your side mirror adjustment. Press this button, fold them in, press them again, fold it back out. All right, up to your steering wheel we go. Leather bound, power steering, really nice. Um, menu controls up here. Cruise control settings here. Don't forget about your adaptive cruise control I spoke about earlier. Airbag in the center, more menu controls, and we've got some phone and volume controls to the bottom left corner. Your steering wheel column is also adjustable. You can bring that up and down, back and forth to suit your driving position. Alrighty, leather dashboard, really nice along the top here. Your multimedia display, it's like a Hoyt cinema screen almost. CD player here. Um, air conditioning controls along here. The main thing to point out is that the temperature can be different for driver and passenger. You've also got a max aircon button. If you parked in the sun all day, press that button and your car will cool down in a matter of minutes. Up here, we have a push start engine. No more turning a key around. Now you just press a button. Continuing further down, USB input here, USB input in the center, 12 volt power supply here to the left. Storage. Okay, here's a bunch of features that we're gonna run through. Get that bit of dirt out the way. Okay, first up, this A with the circle around it is your stop-start engine. When you're chilling at the traffic lights, your engine's gonna cut off in order to save you some fuel. If you don't like that, press that to turn it off. Parking, this is your parking assistant. Okay, that turns on and off your sensors and your cameras around the car. This one here is automatic parallel parking. It's insane. This is the best thing to happen to cars since a sunroof. You press this button, the cameras do all the work and automatically park you parallel to, to a free bay. Diff lock, hill assist, traction control, let's move on. Leather bound gear stick, four wheel drive controls, drink holders, park brake, leather finish on top of your center console, lift this up, you've got an air conditioning vent in here as well, so this is gonna be cooled. Any valuables in here won't heat up. And take again another close look at this nice trim you have inside. All right, I'm gonna bring this seat back. I need a bit more room for my six foot one legs. Glove box, got a storage compartment in here. I was hoping to find the service history in there, but you'll have to run through that with the car salesperson. Airbag here along the front, grab handle, grab handle, airbag here by my head. All right, sun visor with a mirror and a light. Roof storage up here for a pair of sunnies. Light controls and an electronic anti-glare rear view mirror. Make that, a, uh, sorry, that'll automatically diminish the brightness of uh, headlights about the place. Now, leather seats. I did read that they're heated. Oh, they are heated seats. I forgot to point that out. They're just here on the display there. So guys, this is literally gonna heat you up from your backside in combination with the air conditioning vents blowing at you, okay? Heated seats, leather seats, carpet interior, door pockets, whack a drink bottle in there. Let's finish off the right-hand side of the tour by zooming into our top right-hand tire. I'm gonna go ahead and get your bonnet prepared here for inspection. Okay, notice the pistons to the left and right hand side have done the lifting and the holding for me. Soundproofing board along the top there. If you do hear, notice that buzzing, guys, it's just something winding down. Don't let it distract you. Okay, some final features about the engine. 23,900 kilometers on the clock. Sports automatic transmission type. Yeah, I said before, the car takes a diesel fuel type, 4x4 capabilities, and that 
is a two litre engine that we are staring down the barrel of. Guys, we're done with the video. Thanks so much for your attention, for making it this far through the video. We hope you enjoyed, but most importantly, we hope you found this video informative and you've begun to get a good idea about what the Ranger could mean for you. We've covered as many features as conveniently possible, but there's still plenty more to learn about the car. So if this video has tickled your fancy, we invite you to come on down and take a closer inspection for yourself. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget about our same-day finance approval. Don't forget about the peace of mind that warranty will bring. Have a wonderful day. We look forward to hearing from you soon.